of my dear. Oh, hold on, while let's kick back in. All right, there we go. What? Well, there we go. Hey, everybody. This is a dear old friend of mine that we were just catching up before we turned the video camera on. It's not just a pandemic. It took a pandemic, a crash in the stock market, and the tanking oil price for him to get back together. But Rami, you and I met in Atlanta, what, 15 years ago? Maybe longer? I, I think closer to 20. 20 years really ago? Yeah. yeah. And you have a long history in the fitness in, uh, business. You've um, you're a ranked triathlete. You got into adventure racing. Are you still doing that? Mm -hmm. Uh, I actually switched to something a little mellower, off-road ultra marathons now. So I'm doing that for a hobby. So. <laughs> a little mellower. <laughs> yeah, a little, a little chill, you know. Yeah, yeah. you had a personal training business forever, and now you're on the speaking circuit. And I want to spend a few minutes today for all the people that are sequestered at home. They're going stir crazy because they can't go work out. Can you give a little bit of, of advice on how you can actually work out at home? Yeah, I mean, it's so interesting. We were just talking about this off camera that, that how everything comes full circle, right, Mark? Like, you know, this is how we trained 30 years ago. Yeah. And now we're back to it. And um, so, you know, obviously, I've had a lot of demand for this lately. And, and what I'm doing right now, because this is part of my coaching, and I coach a lot of people that work, work and, and play out of their homes. And so I'm just providing all this for free. So don't let me forget at the end to give you my links, because I'm putting workouts that people can do on, at home. Okay. on my Facebook page three times a week for people to do, and they are basic. So, you know, I think what's so important right now for people is to simplify because we are so overwhelmed with information, right? Like there's no lack of information in the fitness world right now. Wouldn't you agree? I mean, it's, it's crazy. Oh, it's it's how many, insane. Anybody with a cell phone is now an expert. Yeah. Yeah. They're total experts. You know, somebody like me, I've been in the business for 30 years. I have a graduate degree in exercise science. You know, I ran a gym for 20 years. I have no more, you know, say in this world than, like you said, some, some guy who has big biceps and has a phone, right? So what I've learned is, you know, just to simplify stuff and really take it down to the bare basics in terms of like getting exercise in. And I think the biggest warning I'm giving people is um, don't try things now, just like the, everything else. Don't try things now that you wouldn't have done before, right? So in other words, if you've never done any of this, you've never lifted a weight, Let's do it, but let's start out really, really mellow, just like you would do if you were joining a gym. I think people are so stir crazy. The fact is they get a workout and then they're like, they're going to overdo it, right? Yep. So yeah, everything I've been sending people is body weight related, no equipment needed. Um, if you do need equipment, super easy. Just get a couple of TheraBands or, or medicine ball or something like that off of Amazon um, to do it. But everything I'm doing is just body weight. And you know, I'm recommending people I think it's re another really important thing is, especially for people like you and I that are already exercisers, there's a real tendency to overdo it right now because we need the de-stress and we, we need a sense of control. You know, you're locked in your house, you got to do this. So most of the research is saying now in terms of immunity is that a little exercise is wonderful. Too much exercise is actually really bad. So, yeah. you know, it's going to lower your immunity, right? So yeah, I'm not going to run. It's funny. Yeah. It's um so I trained chess yesterday and body weight so all push ups plank push up yeah. stuff I'm sore as a <laughs> sore as heck oh, yeah. because I'm not yeah, yeah, used yeah. to doing body weight exercises so so to your point if you've never worked out before be really careful especially if you're older right because um, you yeah. don't want to compromise your immune system old Mark is that what you're saying right now hey, come on. <laughs> dude we're I'm both hard we're both old <laughs> yeah so basically. In terms of like what you're going to do to keep it as simple as possible, you, you want to kind of break your workout into sort of uh, three phases. So a warm up, some strength training, a little bit of cardio and a cool down. Right. So four phases of it. And I'm telling people 30 to 40 minutes tops three times a week is a really good starting place. Um, and then within the workout itself, because. You know, if you have something at home where you can do some cardio, that's great. I look like a genius because I bought a Peloton a month ago before any of this happened. So that thing is definitely getting used. If you have something like that, fantastic. But I'm a big proponent, as you are, with strength training, right? And how important that is. And it's really important for immunity. So think in terms of you want to do a pushing movement, a pulling movement, a hip dominant movement, a knee dominant movement, and a core movement. That's it. So you know, you're advanced, you're going to do a split routine. Most people are not going to do that, right? And by split routine, we mean doing one body part per day, that type of thing, right? right. Most people I'm working with are doing total body three times a week. And Which so, is actually great. Yeah. 
yeah. really, really good. And, and funny, a lot of the research without diving down a rabbit hole is it actually might be better than a split routine because it takes about 48 hours to recover. So you're actually hitting those muscle groups three times a week, you know, with a, with a lower volume, so less chance of injury, right? So and the other cool yeah. thing is part of your strength training, if you do it fast enough, actually get your heart rate up to the point that exactly. it also is cardio as well. So you, you get a lot of bang for your time buck. So like at some of the workouts I'm posting are rep based, but some of them are also time based. So you'll do like 45 seconds of an exercise. And I mean, if you've done 45 seconds of push ups, you know, you can get a lot in there, right? <laughs> and you can get your heart rate up and all that. And so. I'm posting different things like that, but really you'll have something like a pushing movement, which would be like a push up, a pulling movement, which is super important for posture. And that would involve a band or something to do a row, um, a hip dominant movement, like a really simple one legged deadlift, which you do not need weight for just kind of bending over um, a knee dominant movement, like a squat, and then some type of core movement. I'm not a big proponent of old school sit ups. I like anti rotational movements like planks, side planks. Um, rotational movements with a band and you know the sets and reps and all that don't matter as much as the consistency yep so yeah I, I tell people all the time i'd rather you work out three times a week for 15 minutes than one time every 10 days for two hours yep. right agreed yeah uh, so yeah. rami we'll put a link uh in the so this is gonna go out linkedin first everybody look in the first comment after this video goes out and we'll have all of rami's workouts we have the links there to make it quick and easy and then yep. If, if, if anybody has any questions, can they reach out to you on LinkedIn? Yeah, they can do the, or LinkedIn Facebook. Actually, yeah. The best thing is my website is coach Rami.com. It's coach R A M I.com. That has a contact form. Facebook is easy. There's my, my mobile numbers in there. People have been texting me. I'm wide open for people. You can't text me, but anybody else. Can, okay? <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll, so have them, yeah, have we'll actually, out. Yeah, we'll actually just put the link to your website so everybody's funneled in one place because I know you're busy. We're all busy right now handling this crisis. But Rami, dude, thank you so much for coming on and, and helping our, our followers get a little exercise in in this time where they're kind of locked down at home. Appreciate you, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, thanks, Rami. Thank you. All right, let's see if we kill this. Stop recording.